Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I wholeheartedly apologize that this reading that I have done every week for I don't even know how many weeks now is a day late. Um, it was a very long Independence Day weekend for me. Um, by the time I got home from work last night, I was so phys physically and emotionally spent and in such a low vibration, there was no way I was picking up cards because it was just going to be a reading to get content up. And I try not to do that. I try to be in highest vibration as possible and to be as awake as possible. <laughs> so sorry, it's late, but I'm here now. We're going to throw them down. Okay. Okay. As usual, it is cancer season. Cancer is a water sign. We go by the elements. I will start with water, work my way around the wheel. Same as the general zodiac sign reading. If it resonates, cool. If it doesn't, it's not your story. Stick around for the... For your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings, if you feel so inclined. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Cross watches are welcome. So, without further ado, let's throw down some cards. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Huh. Excellent. The Devil in the Reverse and the Six of Swords in the Upright. Looks to be th this week, someone may be disconnecting from some toxic habits or some toxic energy. Maybe a Capricorn you're disconnecting from. Again, take it however it resonates. But you're moving forward, you're moving on. You're packing it up. That's awesome. Right on. Okay, well, let's rewind a little bit and figure out what started it. Three of Pentacles in reverse, strength in the upright. The foundation was crumbly, if it was even there to begin with. The strength card, you may be dealing with Leo. It may have taken a great deal of strength to come to the impersonal understanding that there was just no foundation there. Perhaps there was polarities in the relationship that were too extreme. Could be. I think you had to trust your judgment here. Okay. Fast forward a little. Oh, okay. Six of cups reversed, three of wands reversed. This may be someone you were dealing with with a while and there's some bad memories associated with the connection, some harsh feelings. One or the both of you maybe decided not to wait for the other person. We'll get some clarity on that in a second. All right. This week, the sun in the reverse, the lovers in the reverse. The connection is still indeed there. It's, it's there. It's just not being acknowledged. Somebody's walking away. Obviously. Someone may have been a little bit obsessed with this devil. Okay. Why is the three of wands reversed here? Eight of cups in the reverse, hanging man in the reverse. No longer waiting at the dock. Someone may have had a hard time accepting that someone didn't return. Or someone tried to return and there was just too much bad blood. That's a possibility. Wow, okay. It's 
beating a dead horse with unacknowledged connection. Why is the sun reversed here? Five of Swords reversed. There was no picking up the pieces after this. Everything was just scattered all over. Scattered thoughts, scattered emotions. Why is the lovers reversed here? Okay, you I dropped. You fell out. Five of cups, there's gonna be a great deal of sadness. Because someone's not acknowledging. Outward appearances. It may feel like or seem like in the moment this week that there's just no picking the pieces up because they're in such a great deal of sadness, but you will move forward. You have to get to that place. Okay. <sighs> Tragic. But it's part of the journey. It can't always be sunshine and roses, my water sign friends. Let's get your advice. The Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. She's angry. The Queen of Wands has a tendency. She's not necessarily emotional, but anger is an emotion. Passion is an emotion. Don't hold a grudge is what I'm taking out of this. Sorry, I forgot to shut that off. I'm a terrible person. Yeah, I know it's 9.20 a.m. Oh my gosh, stop. Sorry, my assistant started chattering at me. Don't take it with you. Don't hold on to it. Don't hold a grudge. <laughs> that may not necessarily be how you want to move forward. Ah, oh, even better. There's something better coming for you. Ace of Pentacles in the upright. The Four of Cups in the upright. There's something better coming for you. It will be more abundant. It will be slow going, but it will be more abundant. But you have to be willing to look up from the Three Spilt Cups of the past and look up at the cup that the universe is going to hand you. So, don't put your head in the sand because of how bad this made you feel. You have to be willing to look up. Um, I'm not necessarily seek, saying seek out. But don't be closed off. Okay? Alright. That's pretty amazing. I like it. I like it. Fire sign, friends. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What do I have in store for you guys this week? Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords, the worst if it's over. 
the worst of it's over. End of a painful cycle. The sun's gonna shine again, but it's still gonna be very much on your mind. I'm thinking because you're allowing it to stay there. Okay. You're not doing that thing where you just forget about it. It's a good thing. Just don't let that eight... Don't let those eight swords be grudges. I think that's going to be the theme of the day. Just by looking at what I'm seeing so far. So, rewind a little bit. Six of Wands in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. There was no victory. There wasn't even a slow start. It just didn't work out. Someone may have been a little bit egotistical. Just didn't get going. We might throw a clarifier on that in a minute. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Fast forward a little. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Someone may not have been putting the work in. There may have been confusion. Some things may not have been an option for one of the parties. Throw a clarifier on that in a minute. All right, what about this week? Okay, well... Wheel of Fortune in the upright, King of Wands in the reverse. There will be an upward turn of events. This connection may well have been karmic. And sometimes that upward turn of events is the aha moment where you realize things. Epiphanies come. Having to throw in the towel on something. Having to give up the ghost. Weapons down. Be as it be. Okay. All right. Why is the six of wands here? Why is the six of wands reversed here? Six of Swords reversed. Reversed six. Oy. One or the other of you may have had something return. So the other one couldn't declare victory. That happens, especially in karmic connections. Their thoughts were elsewhere. They may have been, one or the other of you may have been unknowingly manifesting a return. You ever done that? It's pretty interesting when that happens. When your thoughts are so consumed by someone or something else that it happens. It can happen when you don't let things go, when you don't release them. It can happen. I know it was super weird when it happened to me. Why is these pentacles reversed chair? Swords reversed. Ah, speaking of epiphanies. Secrets came out. Two 
didn't start. The seed was planted, it didn't grow. Knowledge came to be. Hmm. Found something out. It happens. Maybe you found out about the other person or they found out about the other person. It happens in new relationships quite frequently. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here? I'm not taking 20 cards. You're going to give me one. Thanks. Justice reversed. Somebody wasn't putting the work in or an equal amount of effort in. There was imbalance in the connection. Possibly to the extent of it straight up not being fair. I mean, there's a little bit of imbalance and then there's a whole lot of imbalance. Tower reversed. One or the other, you may have not been putting work into the connection because you were putting work in elsewhere. Trying to rebuild something else somewhere else. Hmm. Well, why is the Seven of Cups reversed here? I always get startled when I do that. Eight of Cups reversed. Seven of Cups reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. Confusion returns. So one of you was off doing something somewhere else, so the other one said, fine, I'm going to go off and do something else. Causes confusion in the connection. You're going to go over here. I'm going to go over here. You know one more on that. Five of Pentacles reversed, coming in out of the cold. Hmm. Oh, fire sign friends. Possibly off, off going off a little half cocked. Possibly. The worst of it might be over, but it's still very much on your mind. All right, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Maybe, no. Yes. Hereford reversed, disconnect. Karmic connection, life lesson card, and this connection was meant to teach you something. This person was a soulmate. And something tells me it was a very painful lesson that's going to stick with you for a very long time. And that's good because that's what it's supposed to do. Wouldn't be a soul lesson if it wasn't. One more. Empress reversed comes out. That's all it was. It wasn't meant to grow. And you that's the epiphany. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. 
as much as you wanted it, it wasn't meant to be. But it's an upward turn of events. Why is the King of Wands reversed here? King of Pentacles in the upright. This is nice. This is giving up the ghost on the connection, allowing the cycle to end, but you become more abundant because of it. Making a right choice, making a choice for you, to benefit you, to make you better, stronger, faster, more efficient, whatever. That's hot fire signs, I like it. One more on that. And I'll get your advice. So either way you shake this, this is going to suck. Page of Swords. Hmm. Somebody has their eye on you. I like it. I like it. A little bit of communication coming in, possibly from an air sign. Very nice. Let's get your advice. Page of Wands in the reverse, Two of Pentacles. If you make the decision to give and let gone and to not walk the path with this connection, there's going to be a little bit of emotional juggling involved, but you have to come to the understanding that you have to balance yourself out. If something is out of balance in a connection, You can either just keep dumping the work into it, dumping the work into it. You're not going to tip the scale back the correct way. So if you make the decision to step off this path and go elsewhere, yes, there's going to be some emotional juggling involved, but you have to do what's going to balance you out. You have to do what's right for you. Devil in the reverse, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Don't obsess over the fact that this one isn't the one. Don't obsess over the fact that you had to give up the ghost. Don't, don't wrap yourself up in that cage of swords for too long. Because wrapping yourself up in the cage of swords isn't going to change the outcome of the situation. Two of swords in the upright, the chariot. Make the decision that is best for you in your own forward movement. And that part of that decision might be distancing yourself from the situation. Some of you may actually physically pick up and move away because you can't deal with it anymore. Distance yourself from it, at the very least, emotionally. You have to pick up and move forward. The decision lies in your hands, fire sign friends. Boy, am I glad I didn't try to do this yesterday. Just saying. But yesterday was yesterday and today was today. And I'm going to stop crying about yesterday. Because that's not forward movement either. No, is it? Earth sign friends, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. forward movement. Oh, come on. Back to the old Illuminati deck and it not wanting to shuffle.
The Four of Swords and the Prince of Swords in reverse. Laying something to rest. No communication. Either on you part or there, someone has cut communication off here. You've been forced to lay something to rest this week. Time out. Wasn't that like the title of my Taurus reading the other night? Time out? Hmm. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Rewind. Two of Wands in the upright, King of Swords in the reverse. Someone's at the crossroads. That wand of the past is behind them, but they were still clinging on to it. Forward wands out here. You can't hold both wands at the same time for too long. Because these wands are trying to separate. Holding on to both of them for too long may tear you apart. This is what's happened here. The King of Swords in the reverse. In the upright, he makes logical decisions. He's honest. He's honest with himself. He's honest with all parties involved. Kind of cold, but he's a good guy. In the reverse, he leads with his heart. He makes emotional decisions. And I'm not saying making decisions with your heart is a bad thing. I'm saying too much of a good thing can be bad. And it can be... Uh, I'm forgetting the word. It's like one of those... Uh, drawn and quartered? I forget the device, but I know what I'm trying to say. It's like you're being drawn and quartered. You're being torn apart. Fast forward a little. Judgment in the Five of Cups. Someone finally had to make a judgment call to bring a cycle to a close. You have to let something die for something to resurrect. It is the natural order of things. It is what it is. But it brought about a great sadness. Three spilt cups, and that's what you concentrated on. You or the other person. There's still two cups back here, back behind, that you can't see because you're not looking at them. Those are the full cups of blessing. There's a blessing in every lesson. And there's a lesson in every blessing. Wow. This week. Ah, very nice. The Empress, so much love to give. Maybe a Gemini you're dealing with. Three of Swords in the reverse. Okay. That's amazing. I like that. I think this week, through this little timeout and the cutoff and communication, as hard and saddening as it is, somebody had to make a judgment call. I think this week you're going to learn to love yourself. She's also a card of self-growth. You're going to grow from this. Coming out of a state of heartbreak. Wise judgment here. Nine of Cups reversed. Yes. Very sad. We got that. The lovers.
It was a mutual connection. It was a very powerful one. But the cycle had to close out on it, and you still very con feel very connected to this person. Or you felt. That's why you're so sad. Possibly, with the close of the cycle, you did a few negative things, not filling your cups with the right things. That's what people do when they're sad. It, it's, it's a knee-jerk reaction sometimes, especially if you went through the emotional turmoil like I felt like you went through up here. It's a natural reaction. It's what humans do. It's part of the process of figuring out who you are. It's part of the process of self-growth is pain. That's why we have these rest periods. Why is the Empress here? The Chariot. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. This is onward and upward. This is the journey of self-growth and self-discovery, my Earth sign friends. This is trucking on. This is you driving your horses where you want them to go. This is you taking control of your journey. Coming out of a state of sadness. Why is the Three of Swords here? King of Wands. King of Wands is in the reverse. So, again, just like your fire sign friends, throwing in the towel. Coming out of a state of heartache. Not being so hard on yourself, though. You're resting. You're taking the time. One more. Ace of Cups reversed. I don't see this as an empty cup. Well, I do, but it's not a bad empty cup. That is a cup waiting to be filled. That is you making the decision to heal and to grow and to come out of the state of sadness with the cup inverted until you're ready to fill it again. And that's okay. You're resting. You're not talking to anybody right now. You're chilling. And that's okay. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Your advice, the Wheel of Fortune in the Tower. Okay. Let the tower fall. Just let it fall. Because the falling of... This is, this is beautiful and I'm going to tell you why. This tower is going to fall and it's going to hurt and it's going to suck and it's going to be dramatic <laughs> and but it's okay because when you're ready you can rebuild that tower the way you want it because this is an upward turn of events this isn't a bad event this isn't bad change this is not bad change this is self growth and this is self discovery and this is this could be the most beautiful point on your journey when you look back on it later and, and I've had that moment and it, it, it was illuminating and it was enlightening and it was soul crushing at the same time. But sometimes the soul's got to be a little crushed to grow. In, in the fall or in the spring. And I forget when farmers till their fields in after the harvest. After everything's been cut down and all said and done, the fields get tilled in to feed the earth so new things can grow. This is just a till-in, man. This is a till-in. It's part of a cycle. It's the natural order of things. 
Six of Wands reverse, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Do not beat yourself up. Do not beat yourself up over this. No matter how long you would have waited. No matter... There never would have been a victory here. Because that's not what it was meant to be. Don't beat yourself up. One more. Princess of Swords reversed. Four of Cups in the upright. Yes. Yes. Sit back and chill. I'm not going to say don't communicate for a while with anyone. Don't close... You know. Don't let it be so serious. You'll know when to look up at the cup. Because there's a cup coming for you. Don't miss the cup. Know what I'm saying? Don't miss the cup. Because the cup's coming for you. And it will be a full cup. My earth sign friends. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This one's going to be a little bit longer one today. I think you guys earned it. After all, I made you wait an extra 24 hours, but like I said, there was no way. There was no way I was reading cards last night. I was in tears by 3 o'clock yesterday. I was in tears. I don't cry at my, I don't cry at my bread and butter job. I, I was in tears yesterday. Physically and emotionally spent after a very long weekend. One of the other employees was like, oh my God, do you live here? <laughs> You're always here. It's like, I feel like I live here. I never get to go home. But anyway, we're not talking about me. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what's going on for you guys this week? That King of Wands reverse, it's just a King of Wands reversed week, isn't it? It's just, it's just the theme of the week. I think that's what I'm going to title this video. King of Wands in the reverse. There's a, there's a connection here. Unacknowledged, somebody threw in the towel. It could have been an avoidance of confrontation. It could have been lack of forward movement for whatever reason. It stalls. It delays. Something is delayed. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, boy. Okay, that's a delay. It's definitely a delay. That's interesting. A return... Someone got booted out into the cold. Possibly tried to return. Could be you, could be the other party. That's... Yeah. Huh. Okay. Fast forward a little. Judgment, the Four of Pentacles reversed. We're going to get clarity on that judgment card. And cycles end to begin new ones. That's release. Something was released. Might have had something to do with this. Return coming out of the cold. Judgment call. Release. What happened after that? Oh no. Really? Queen of Cups in the reverse, Emperor in the reverse. <sighs> Shell shock. You guys might be a little shell shocked this week. 
just completely, completely emotionally closing yourself off. Just allowing it to spin out of control. Or, this is emotionally closing yourself off because you're you're in a state of being so vulnerable that you're just, no. That's what I'm seeing here right now. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here? only four. Fine. Devil reversed, five of swords, full reversed, page of pentacles reversed. Yeah, that tells the story. <sighs> Disconnect from toxic, obsessive behavior. Picking up pieces. Lack of trust. Blocked communication. This could be what happened when someone tried to return. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Air signs, did you guys make a decision to release somebody? That's what I'm seeing. Star reversed. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Somebody tried to come back. You're like, oh no. <laughs> there has not been enough of a healing. There is way too much negative energy. This, no. No. I just keep hearing this wasn't the deal. This wasn't the deal. Y'all told somebody to take a long walk up a short pier. Why is judgment here? Get back up there. Nine of Cups. Somebody made a judgment call to love themselves first and love themselves more and come back to a place of emotional stability and make themselves happy and fill their cups with positive things. And that is okay. Why is the Four of Pentacles reversed here? Death and the Six of Swords. Releasing it, moving forward from it, allowing metamorphosis to occur. This changed you as a person, didn't it? Wow. Oh, air sign friends. I feel this on a soul level. I do. You did the right thing. You loved yourself first. So why this? Why is the Queen of, why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? Why this? King of Swords. Logical, head over heart, non-emotional decision making when you're completely emotionally closed off to a situation or a person. That's cold. It's cold. You're just done. Three of Cups are first. You can't even be friends with this person right now. So you know what? I want nothing to do with you. Take a long walk off short pier. We can't even be friends. Why is the emperor reversed here?
Ace of Cups, Page of Swords reversed. See this cup? This is my cup. And you can't have it. I'm done. You're not gonna run me. I like it, air signs. I like it. I like it. This is you taking you back. I love it. I love it. This is you pulling the truck off the side of the road and saying, get out and walk. I like it. I like it. You're not on the journey with me anymore. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Your advice, two of cups in the reverse and the magician. This is an opportunity. This disconnect is an opportunity to manifest what you want in a relationship, to manifest your person. I like it. And you have to look at this as an opportunity. Did it hurt? Probably. Well, obviously. Obviously you're hurt. And obviously you're pissed. And that's okay too. This changed you as a person. This is going to change how you look at relationships forever. But love yourself first. Manifest what you want. Uh, Ace of Wands in the reverse, Four of Cups in the reverse. Just because this one didn't take off, don't ignore every other cup that comes your way. That's sound advice. I love it when the cards give sound advice. Ten of Pentacles in the upright, the Hierophant in the reverse. Take this as an opportunity to get some money in your bank account. Establish your life and your dream and your abundance. And don't worry about the connection right now. This is an opportunity to establish and manifest what you want for your life before you invite someone else in. It's up to you guys. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. Okay, friends. Sorry for the one-day delay. Thank you so much for your patience. My phone's ringing. I gotta figure that out. Be blessed. Catch you guys in a couple of days. And July readings will be coming out more and more the next couple of days because I'm on a two-day vacation for my bread and butter job. So, love you to bits. Catch you later.